hours after Birmingham's latest homicide, panelists convened for the 2024 Stop the Violence Summit. The city is also just days away from marking one month since the Five Points South mass shooting. Leaders gathered to discuss what needs to be done to reduce the crime. ABC 3340's Olivia Goche sat in on this conversation. She reports from Birmingham. <laughs> From conversations about mental health, gun laws, parenting, and social media, city leaders joined in a collaborative discussion about necessary next steps and intervention. A key question, what can be done to help the youth? As we heard on the panel, a lot of times you'll see a lot of young people, they may not be per se bad, but they need guns for protection or because everybody else is having it. And so I think by teaching young people that you can resolve a conflict without guns, you can uh, use your words and be able to de-escalate the situation and give them those social skills that are needed. Panelists stressed the need for parental involvement and mental health resources. Many also noted there are systemic issues that contribute to violence. Jefferson County Sheriff Sheriff Mark Petway noted that gangs are increasingly becoming an issue across the county. These are different types of gangs that are popping up and they're younger and they do not have what you looked at before in the past as leadership. They, they are glorified by social media. They put everything out on social media. They show the guns, they show the money. They tell the whole story on social media. Following the panel, those in attendance had the opportunity to take their concerns directly to their local leaders. I spoke with one person in attendance who told me the solutions they want to see. In black history, community has always been our solution, and we just got to get back to that. Everybody's standing their own lane. They're afraid, you know, we're actually, actually acting out in desperation. Um, and trying to get to a solution and trying to get to the solution. We're also trying to land blame somewhere because that's just our human nature. But we need to adopt a block, adopt a, a family and take our communities back. And we're going to do that with love and intentionality and in unity. Panelists say they look forward to more constructive conversations about what can be done to combat violence in the community. In Birmingham, Olivia Goche, ABC 3340 News. Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin said he plans to have a report to the city regarding his newly formed advisory commission in less than 60 days.